Hopefully you can hear me over that noisy uh, Miller welding machine slash generator over there, but I decided I, was, I, I had no need for a December channel update video of December 2020. Good old, good old 2020, man. It just, just keeps on giving. Uh, the house is currently hooked up to that generator because we have no power. because Georgia Power came out and took the meter out of the meter base. Uh, the reason they took the meter out of the meter base is the damn house caught on fire. And now we're living in our RV in the driveway. Look, there's a puppy dog. There's Izzy. Hey, Izzy, baby. Hey, Izzy, baby. Let's see if we can see the other puppy dog over here. Another one in there somewhere. Bella. Bella. There her he is. Hey, Bell Bells. Hey, Bell Bells. Rick's in there too, but he's in his pen because he was being a bad boy. Okay, so why did the, the garage catch fire? Well, this is an unfortunate situation. I know everybody was waiting for the big reveal, so... Ta-da! Here's our big reveal. Um, don't even really know what to say, gotta be honest. Uh, as you know, the well, if you've been watching the, the how-to series I was working on, um, I had already had it filmed. The machine was built and ready and running and I uh, took it to Windrock last weekend for two days. Went riding with Robin, Stacy, and uh, Brian, otherwise known as Pride, um, and Noah. And anyway, we I got some video of that trip too. I don't, just not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. But anyway, I got back on Sunday, uh, last Sunday, a week from today, and. I, you know, it was late when we got back. It was raining, it was gross, it was cold. So I just moved my truck outside and brought the razor in here until I could get it cleaned up so I could then go put it in the shop. I was having trouble with the front diff still. Um, more than two years I've been fighting with that front diff, trying to get that thing to pull properly. But all it would do is anytime it got under a good load, the front left would start ratcheting and the front left would stop pulling. So even as, as big and badass and awesome as this thing was, it was still a little bit gimped on that trip because the front just kept not pulling. And when it did decide to work, I mean, it was a beast. It was a, it was a hoss. But then some of the time it wouldn't work and then it just fell flat on its face basically. But that's not any any fault of all the, the upgrades I just put on and it's just that damn diff I cannot or could not get that thing to stop ratcheting. I completely rebuilt it with all Sandcraft parts and even the left side of the housing and the only thing that I did not replace was the ring, the pinion, and the right side housing. Everything else was replaced and I was still having the exact same problem. So, but it doesn't matter. That uh, that diff has popped as last pop because Thursday I got home a little early from our business and weather was nice. And I'm like, you know what? I wanna work on it this weekend. I'd already talked to Super about getting one of their uh, awesome billet front diffs to put in it. Um, but I, I brought it out here Thursday afternoon and I pressure washed it and I used a, a foam cannon on it and got it all clean and shiny and 
I let it sit out there for a little while, get some air and dry. I had left the doors and everything up. I had the windshield and the, the upper canvas doors and everything was on it. Um, twilight fell and I, I brought it into the garage. I started it up, let it run and made like a circle around the yard and I brought it in here, parked it and it sat here for two or three hours. And I was downstairs on the computer. I was just getting ready to start part four of the video series. And I heard my house alarm making a very strange sound that I had never heard before. And I, I didn't understand what it was. So I came upstairs and Diana and Hannah were both in the laundry room right at the top of the stairs, which is right through that door. And we were all just kind of confused, like, what, what the hell is that? And the washing machine was running and we began to smell, you know, like a burning smell. And we all looked at the washing machine and was like, well, maybe this thing's about to go out or something. And then I looked toward the garage door leading out into here. And even though it was dark outside, with the, the windows in the garage doors and the, the back door, the puppy door right there, and then that window. And, you know, you can still see. You can still see into the garage from inside the house when you're in the laundry room. But I couldn't. I, it looked funny. The, the window going into the garage was absolutely just pitch black. So I reached for the door and opened it, and it swings in. It swings in this way. So I opened it and kind of pushed it, and it, the minute I did, or the, the, the instant I did, this horrible black, just terrible smelling smoke come pouring in through the top of the door frame right in my face, my throat just instantly started burning. And I heard, I felt some heat and I heard these horrible sounds coming out of the garage. Of course, my first instinct was just get the hell away from it. And I began to backtrack. But then I was like, oh my God, I need to shut that door. Otherwise all the smoke's going in the house. Well, I tried to get back to the door, I couldn't. It, uh, the smoke was, was just tearing me up and the noises and the heat and everything um yeah it it, it just came on inside this uh i know it's kind of dim in here but this laundry room was was a light gray and with white trim and white white cabinets by the way um it's completely charcoal black from like here up just everything's everything's just destroyed in here um the the door frame melted so the heat and the rush of air coming in here managed to shut this door i believe but with the door frame actually melted around that window the smoke was still boiling in around the door um this light switch here m melted from the heat Here's our key rack. All my my keys are completely black, and most of the plastic just melted slap off of them. Um, obviously, the, the alarm's not doing too good. Rest of the house, though, not so bad. Smoke damage stinks, but it's not bad. Um, Surf Pro is coming out tomorrow to begin cleanup and reconstruction. So, the downstairs where my computer and all that is, is is perfectly fine for the most part. The top of the stairwell is all smoked up, but they're going to start on the downstairs first, and they say it won't be more than a week, and they'll have us uh, back in the house downstairs. Uh, the electrician that is a, a friend of the family who actually wired this house when we built it has already been out. He came out yesterday and made the, the wiring go into the garage uh, safe. So I just gotta wait for the building inspector to come out and double check the wires and then he can call the power company to come turn the power back on. And then we can go put that generator back up and move back downstairs instead of living in our, our camper. Um, but yeah, she's gone. She's, she's completely gone, there's nothing left. Nothing. Well, the tires, the, the damn super grip canines uh, held up. They're they're not even crusty. Look, they're they're still smushy. I think that would be just fine. But 
progressive wants to just come pick it up and take it and have it investigated to see exactly what started this and I really, really hope they can figure this out because I am completely stumped. Diana's up there surveying the, the attic. Look look at the garage door opener. It it melted and, and even the bar, the bar going to the, the door itself uh, is sagging. It got so hot it it got hot enough to to sag that metal. The aluminum roof is completely gone. Uh, there's there's some of it there, and then there's drips of it, you know, all over the the bars. There's uh, one of the back doors laying there with some of the the frame still on it from my canvas. There's all the hood and the fenders all melted around the tires of sheetrock that fell. Um, there's the steering wheel. It's just a metal circle. It's my light bar. Uh, I don't know if you can see the radios, but they're kind of down in there. So this this is this has been a fantastic comeback, right? I mean, you know, two years and and you know depression and meds and got ready to to make my big return, and then this is what I get. Um, thank you, 2020. Uh, I know you're already asking this question, or maybe you're like, oh, God, I hope he had insurance. Well, I do. Um, it has insurance through Progressive, and I had pretty substantial accessory coverage just for all the, you know, parts that are on it. Of course, I couldn't carry uh, cover everything it ever had, but it had coverage for everything that's uh, that was on it when this happened. So, in my little pool robot, he's he's not in good shape either. Neither is the the one in front of him here. Um, this this Joker burned hot. It it burned really really hot apparently. Um, I, I'm extremely surprised that the, the tires just seem to be just fine. Probably got some damage under all this melted plastic, you know, but I don't know for sure either. All my new suspension arms, my new portals, um, my rebuilt shocks, my dirt clutch, the cooler, the roof, the winch, the lights, the axles, just the radios, the seats, the harnesses, the overhead storage. So much, so much gone. Uh, there's the gas tank. Um, the insurance uh, lady, when I told her that the tank actually had melted and opened and I could see gasoline just sitting there in a, a puddle about four inches deep or deeper, she requested that I get some oil soak or kitty litter or whatever and dump in there to try to soak that crap up. And I did. I, I dumped about a probably a one-gallon bucket full of oil soak down in that gas tank and it's completely saturated i don't know how that didn't all but well i do i do know why that all didn't go up because our jones county volunteer fire department everybody in that fire department is a volunteer except for the fire chief himself they showed up with 20 plus people men women um, all nationalities represented or all races represented I guess I should say um, they showed up with two, like three trucks and like I said more than 20 something people in about four minutes and we're in a rural area I mean we, we, we live in a small town and we are miles outside of the the, the only town in this area but they were here in four minutes flat, just about. Um, police, two policemen came first. They were here, but they just barely beat fire. And we were standing outside in our jammies and barefooted in the cold, uh, with soaking wet driveway from all the water. And one of the policemen went to his car and got us shoes out of his car and the other policeman went to his house 
got three jackets out of his own closet and brought them back up here for us to put on. I'm actually wearing one right now. Uh, Hannah is wearing one of the other ones. The other one we're not wearing right now because it smells like smoke from being inside this, trying to you know, just do what we can. Here's my little RAV4, it melted. The, um, the whole front face is like deformed and sagging. The, the headlights are literally sagging. Fenders melted almost completely off of it. Uh, the side view mirror has melted. The door handles, all the trim on the roof, all these trim panels. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of a mess. Tail lights completely blistered and melted. Paint blistered. So yeah, we we've had a fantastic weekend. Um, so, what do I do now? Um, I have all the footage from this build and the right, its last ride. Um, I'm I just I'm debating whether to, to finish making that or not. I guess what I'm going to do first is ask Super if they want me to finish out that video series, which. Knowing them, I honestly think they will leave that completely up to me. I don't think they're even going to request it or, or demand it or anything. I think that just, it's completely up to you. You do what you need to do. Uh, second thing is, um, you guys, um, leave me a comment if you want to see the rest of the, the build-up series and the, the ride I took in it just before it died. Um, but I gotta be honest, making these videos is gonna be difficult, you know? I mean, I, if you know me at all, or if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know how much I care about that stupid machine. It was basically a family member. Um, so yeah, even just looking at it now, or trying to edit video, it's gonna be difficult, so. I don't know, I don't know that I can do it. But that's, that's really all I've got left uh, for the time being, so not, not sure where I'm gonna go from here. I do wanna keep the channel going, cause you know, I, hell, I just got back to it. So I'll just have to figure out what I'm gonna do. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up for now, cause I gotta get back busy and I don't know what else to say so uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon